What's going on everyone? We're here at Total Archery Challenge and uh, I've had this video idea for a while. We've, we've been wanting to do it super quick and easy, but it relates really good because we're going to be doing some longer shots. We're going to be doing the Caribou, which is 111, and then Sika Gear has that tiny little bear up there, which is 125. And a really big question I always get is, how do you shoot really far? Like, how can you even get your equipment to shoot really far? Um, and there's a couple things. It's very person dependent, obviously, like draw length and poundage, but there are a few little things that you can do to like shoot further. First thing is having just a good, wow. <laughs> oh, we don't, we don't chop anything. We try not to, is the sight making sure that your sight has enough adjustment to get a full sight tape on it. I saw a sight yesterday where it really could only fit like 80 yards on it. So step number one is always making sure you have a sight, like an HHA, a landslide, something like that, that has a full dial adjustment from like zero to 120 yards. -ish. The next biggest component, component, even more so than poundage, is actually your peep sight height. And this is where it's very person dependent. But if you have a very short peep sight, let's say your peep sight's in the string or way down here, you just aren't gonna be able to get a lot of distance because the way the geometry and everything works is your angle of your bow just isn't as high. So you're just not gonna be able to get a ton of distance. If I jam this all the way down here, I would maybe only be able to get 80, 90 yards instead of 120 yards where I am right here all nice and stretched out. Um, again, that's very, kind of person dependent, but if you are setting up a bow to be a little bit longer range of a bow, it wouldn't hurt to just bump your peep sight up a little bit just to gain a little bit more distance. Next is the obvious one, poundage. You definitely want to be in that 65 and up range if you're trying to shoot 100 yards or further just to get, just to get out there, to get enough oomph. Next, and this is kind of underrated, I think, is it's it's wild what a light arrow will do. This is where I think you gain the most amount of distances in your arrow setup. If you're running like a 500 grain arrow or something like that, you just aren't gonna get a lot of distance. Um, but running, if you had like a full on tack setup or a full on long distance setup, running a 400 grain, sub 400 grain arrow is gonna get you a lot of distance. Those are kind of the few key components there. And if the stars align and you have an awesome long distance setup, you can aim right on at 120, 130. I think I can do like 120, 76 pounds, uh, decent peep height, and a 430 grain arrow. So that sits pretty well with me, but we're gonna go out here, Cody. We're gonna shoot with Cody a little bit, shoot some far stuff. Uh, maybe we'll even jump over to the caribou, fling a couple over there. How's that? So we have, oh, here's another trick too. So checking clearance, um, you pop your rest up, spin your uh, fletchings around and then you just kind of run it and then you can see how much distance you have on your scope and then another trick if you have a drop away rest let's see we'll go down to 110 if you flip it around and do the same trick you're gonna see that my index fletching is gonna start hitting so with a drop away it's actually okay to do uh, your your cock fletching down it, it you ha can only do this with a drop away rest but after about 110, I have to knock my arrows upside down. So another little trick just to get some more distance, some more clearance. You do want to be careful not to hit your scope with your fledgings at those farthest distances because one, it's dangerous, and two, you're just going to not be accurate. How far is this little bison guy? 88. Very nice. So 86, 87, 88. Very nice. So I actually have a good bit of distance left at 88. There's a lot of space right here with the setup. So still very much in the wheelhouse. Sorry, I keep hitting you in my arrow. This one time you'll let slide. Very nice. That was right in the pocket. That's perfect. Shooting a lot of Total Archer Challenge the past couple weeks and you really get your setup dialed in and fine tune your sight tape and by the end of it, everything's pretty well, pretty well dialed. Sorry. <laughs> Was that a good one? 
Ooh, that's a little low, right? Pretty good group, just one little flyer low. I don't know what happened there, but I'm happy with that group. I think we're gonna go travel over yonder to the caribou now, do a couple down there, and uh, see if we can't get one in. Got 110 and change. Okay. Low right. It's left, right? Good or no? Okay. That was left. Mm. Did I hit that insert thing? Oh, no. All over the place. I don't know why that one was like that. Good to go. That looks pretty good. Nice shot. Hey, boss, can you move your head a second? <laughs> <laughs> if that's on it, that's the inch out. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Which way? <laughs> They're touching up there. <laughs> Still out? Yeah, no. In the right direction, just not enough. I think so. Yeah, I mean, oh. you're right. Same oh. spot as the other one. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Too far right now? We lined up. 12 ring line. Are you kidding me? That's so depressing. That's it? No way, dude, that's a heck of a group down there, man. That's just a group of yellow down there. Got it. That was good. That, that didn't take too long either. That's definitely, a wild group down there. there. That one's on the line too. Yeah. The other one. Gosh. <laughs> Made my odds worse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well done, man. Nice shoot. That was fun. That's a that's a group like that. Be good. One on the line, one in, two within an inch and a half. Definitely my best group I've ever had on the caribou. Absolutely wild. Man. So I shot, I literally shot this one, this one, this one, and that one's like groups of two right there. Really love how that, like every shot was perfect and then just boom, boom, boom. So we got one more in. Let me take a photo. We still have, that was only eight. We got three more arrows, so we might get one more in maybe. Second one went over it. I want to say it's a line. Really a liner? Well, it's definitely a line, I don't think it's in. Low. Clear. Well, that was fun. I got one in out of 11 shots. That's a success.